Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Craig and it's D. About to react to this vid by Vintage Coochie. You know what? Y'all gotta stop with these names. Um, this video is called What Happened to Kayla Nicole Jones? Yo, what happened to her? What is she up to? I reacted to her quite a bit. You know, I thought she was hilarious. I know she had a kid or kids. Maybe she had two. Or am I thinking about somebody else? I don't know, but I would love to, you know, know what she's up to. So let, let's see what's happened. Let's watch. I get in an argument with a bitch one time. Oh. The real Kayla Nicole. Damn, bitch. I oh, I remember. I remember her ratchet era. <laughs> well, not even era. She's ratchet, you know, and it, it's funny that, uh, and I'm, I don't mean that in a, a rude way. I mean, it is what it is. I, I'm ratchet. I don't have ratchet tendencies. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so she has a hood ratchet side to her. And I remember reacting to a video where she got into a fight or whatever. And I guess her little fans were just like, oh, my God, who is this? What, where is this coming from? And she's like, bitch, just me. Fuck you, me. I'm like, period, Kayla. She out. The truth about Kayla Nicole. But I'm just so sick of how people think they're going to keep attacking me. And I always have to just be the bigger person. You got all the power, Kayla. Don't say anything. Just don't say anything. Don't even tell the truth. Why do I have to do that? But it's okay for people to keep destroying my character. That shit mm. is not a good feeling at all. Nicole Jones was a popular YouTuber and internet personality who was constantly going viral for her crazy antics. However, after reaching the peak of her career, she seemingly disappeared from the face of the internet, and not many people know what pulled her away from social media. Throughout Kayla's YouTube I'll career, her while she saw a lot of success, she was also the victim of a lot of exploitation, she had numerous beefs, and she received an influx of hate that would push her off the internet for a very long time. So where does her story oh, begin? Numerous beefs. Kayla's story starts in 2015 when she first went viral for her infamous ponytail video. This video was shared everywhere and has become an internet classic. It's garnered over 28 million views and it's her biggest video to this day. After releasing her ponytail video, Nicole would start to upload this more skits so and funny here. videos to her channel. And while they Not never the reached the heights of her initial viral <laughs> video, she was getting a decent amount of views and growing a fan base. She released Period. her first song to YouTube titled Check in November of 2018. And it was clear that she wanted to pursue a career in music outside of just making funny YouTube skits. Mm. She'd see a little bit of virality towards the end of 2018. I found out about but her in 2019, 2019. she took off. Yeah. In March of 2019, Nicole started uploading clothing malls and wig tutorials to her channel. And this is when she started to do big numbers. Her videos were going viral constantly because of how uncensored she was when doing reviews and how nonchalant she was with being herself. She'd do videos with her bonnet on. She let her wig fly off, revealing her wig cap. She remake her iconic ponytail constantly. And she often referred to herself as having crackhead energy. New clips of her were going viral on Twitter constantly, and people who remembered her as a ponytail girl were starting to tune back into her content. In June of 2019, she hit 700,000 subscribers, and she also had her first public feud with another YouTuber named Hezo. Hezo was a YouTube reactor with around 500,000 subscribers who was known for reacting to dance routines, Instagram challenges, and clothing hauls. As Nicole was gaining popularity... Men who did that were so fucking creepy. Reacting to a clothing haul is just... A, a new level of being down fucking bad. Those videos are not for your bum ass. Like, oh, oh, that shit is weird. Bitches trying on clothes for other women. Like, hey, ladies, this is what this top looks like. Because I watch try on hauls. Like, hmm, do I want to buy that? Okay, this is what it realistically looks like. Because when you go on the fucking website, they got it on a, a model with a fucking BBL. Her titties done. It's not realistic. So it's very uh, useful to see girls on YouTube everyday women try on these clothes so you can make a good decision as a consumer but y'all bum ass niggas <laughs> hop on you know google's youtube to fucking react to and examine women's bodies and comment on their bodies like go do some that shit is so fucking lame if you've ever reacted to a woman's try on haul and you're a man you're fucking lame you're a fucking lame fans Sorry. wanted him to react to her videos and while the that reaction started off pretty harmless he got comfortable making jokes about nicole that just felt like pure insults that right. motherfucker small as she no harry potter what what is this vein or whatever this lightning bolt vein on his fucking forehead boy go do some magic <laughs> 
and get out. You know what? Go open the chamber of secrets and shut the fuck up. Boy, shut the fuck up. You would never, you could, you, a, a puss ass nigga could never get with me. Every time you react to me, Period. 80,000, the, the last one was about 8,000. Now, now you might get the little extra hundred. I was like, I wasn't even going to say nothing, but now you bullying. Cyberbullying is not okay. Now you just picking with me for no reason. And I'm not going to reach out to you. You have so much to say about me. I don't know you do. So why are you having so much animosity towards me? You do okay. not know me. Damn, nigga. I'm arguing with a bitch with less hair than me. <laughs> How the fuck that look like? Oh, why would I find it? He say, oh, you boy here and shit. It's a problem. I don't mean no harm. Yes, you do. Shut up. You feel me? I'm just trying to get my people on my channel a show. As they should, as they deserve for coming here every day watching me. They deserve a show. I'm going to give it to them. Despite this miniature feud, Hezo still uploaded reactions to Nicole's videos here and there. So I guess the views were worth it. And while this was a bump in the road for Nicole, it was nothing major. In August of 2019, she hit 1 million subscribers and started collaborating with other YouTubers like the Taylor Girls, who did a public prank with her and gave her a makeover. She also collabed with the Shay Frost, who did multiple videos with her that consisted of him ripping off her wig in public and doing her makeup really badly. They also did an Instagram skit together called Social Media vs. Reality, highlighting the differences of how Nicole looked on camera versus in real life. Although it was clear that these jokes weren't bothering Nicole at the time, making her the butt of the joke quickly became a running gag. It's also important yeah, to note that none of these collabs were ever that. uploaded to her channel. She even played an I Like You prank on Deshay, and when she asked if she could upload it on her channel, he insisted that he had to post it. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna post this on my channel. Okay, can I post it on my channel? I need content. <laughs> you can't even post it on your channel because you don't even have a thing. You just got a phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. In September of 2019, mm. she met up with producer Polo Dodon and signed to his record label Zone 4. Oh, there were a lot of shady dealings behind this contract, but we'll get to that later. Mm. She was still regularly posting content and things were looking pretty good for Nicole until her first big fallout. In October 2019, Kayla Nicole and Ty Taylor fell out in a very messy public feud. Oh, to sum man. it up, Ty started dating Kayla's manager at the time named Zay. While Kayla was initially the one who implied that they were cute together as a couple, she quickly started to feel left out and like she couldn't have access to one without the other. So one day after contacting Zay and feeling like he was putting her on hold to be with Ty, she started Isn't to feel like manager? she was being isolated on purpose. Oh, fire. Needless to say, she was a little jealous and maybe even slightly insecure. Her and Ty apparently got into a physical altercation where they yanked each other's hair out and Kayla kicked out Ty's car window. Ooh. Days later, social media lit up with text messages and messy details. Why does she care about who her manager date? Ding, ding, ding! To me, it sounds like Kayla was jealous. Ding, ding, ding! After her fallout with Ty, Kayla was still good friends with Deshae Frost, but their dynamic was progressively getting weirder and weirder. Deshae would make a lot of jokes about Kayla's appearances and finances, mm -hmm. and it was clear that they were starting to hurt her feelings. <laughs> That's what I like. I like the jokes. Go somebody, you trying to treat me like a fucking slave, like pouring a drink on me? You really be exploiting me. You really yeah, you do. Definitely. You be trying to make, make a fool of myself. I remember this era, and I, I did feel like that, to be honest. You only have two couches in them life. You think I was gonna do something? She can't even see a chandelier. She said, shut the fuck up. Why you always fucking do that? Because. Like, you try to make me feel bad. <laughs> you make me feel broke as fuck. It was clear that their relationship was hanging on by a thread. And in November of 2019, Nicole and Deshae got into a fight on Instagram Live. Shut up. Shut up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I don't, I don't. Deshae, don't get that ass beat on my ass. Ask somebody else. Move, Deshae. Ask somebody else. It's not like they're just playing. What the fuck? Ask somebody else on my Stop now, dude. It's like. Quit. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> stop fucking playing. While it started off as horseplay, it quickly escalated into a real altercation. I can't show the full fight here, but I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Oh. Now the fight wasn't super graphic, but it was enough to put an end to their friendship. Shortly after this, she did a collab with DDG, and it went pretty smoothly, but she made a comment that pretty much solidified that her and Deshae weren't on the best of terms. I know I'm not Deshae. Ah! No, fuck Deshae. You don't give a fuck about Deshae. 
Despite her recent controversies, she was still pursuing a career in music and she dropped her song titled Edible. It resonated pretty well with her fans. So while she'd been in some drama, things still weren't looking too bad. That is until November 24th, when a video was shared of Kayla getting into a mm, fist fight with her thought. close friend Lyric, making this her fourth public feud in less than a year. Kayla and Lyric had been friends for a while, and Lyric even comforted Kayla after her fallout with Ty, but it got to a point where Lyric was constantly asking Kayla for money to pay her bills, debt, and overdraft fees. She felt like because Kayla was her friend and was making good money on YouTube, that she was somewhat obligated to put her on. After calling Kayla a trash friend for ignoring her constant request, the two mutually blocked each other. Girl, get a job! Up down the line. Although Lyric didn't ask Kayla for money anymore, she was constantly asking to do videos and make content. This girl just not gonna keep. And she, I mean, you got your clout. Now, I don't, I don't try to support you so much. Like, now this is how you getting famous off me, duh. Like, how you wanted to. Needless to say, this made Kayla very annoyed, and one night after the two had gotten into an argument over the phone, Lyric pulled up to where Kayla was, and the two got into a fight. <laughs> now, Lyric tried to use Kayla's previous fallout with Ty as a way to make her look like the villain, despite the fact that she was literally willing to jump Ty, but most people saw through the act. After this situation, Kayla went on Instagram Live and talked about falling out with friends and not taking disrespect. Oh, very crazy. What? This friend shit is real. When you, I, I'm gonna talk about it at the end, about my own experience. And I feel like I'm disrespected. Really? One thing you're not gonna do is so try to play me. You're not gonna quote me on no live. You're not gonna exploit me and make me look stupid, which is the reason why I have distanced myself from the shade. I didn't like what he did in that live when we was play fighting. We weren't playing. I don't fight my friends. If I ever had to put my hand on you, you are not my friend. If I attack you, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like everybody want to try to use me to be just this little whatever. Because I don't know too much about all of this. But I do know a lot of these bitches is full of shit. Mm. And I'm not. I'm the shit. After this, she dropped her single, Suck My Ass, which was essentially oh. a diss track to the people <laughs> she'd fallen out with. And in December, she dropped her Move Like a Snake single, along with her first real EP titled Breaking Heartbreak. So while 2019 was a pretty rough year for Kayla, 2020 was her saving grace. In January of 2020, Kayla Nicole's new boyfriend, Malachi, started making relationship? appearances in her videos. I'm making that he up. was a childhood friend of hers that supported her for a long time, and the two seemed genuinely happy together. The quarantine prohibited a lot of people from doing collabs, so she went back to doing what she initially blew up for, which were clothing hauls, and she was still pulling in millions of views on her own. She got Missy Elliott to feature on her Move Like a Snake remix, she maintained a good relationship with Shy the Greatest, and she even did a prank on DDG, which is the only collaboration she's ever done that was uploaded to her channel. In wow. May of 2020, she got YK Osiris to feature on her Think About Me remix and shot a video for it. In August, she and her boyfriend Malachi got engaged. In September, she bought her first house and started remodeling. And on October 17, 2020, she announced her first pregnancy with her fiancé. By December of 2020, she had made up with the Shay and even linked up with him to do a prank on her fiancé. She invited Shy the Greatest and the Taylor Girls to her baby shower. And February 1st, 2021, Love she it. gave birth to her son, Messiah. Things were looking great for Nicole. Aww. She'd started a family, she was doing well He's on YouTube, so her music career was slowly <laughs> taking off, and she was mending relationships with old friends. In May of 2021, the Taylor Girls and Kayla Nicole released their song, Bundles. They were friends again. The Taylor Girls even threw Kayla a surprise birthday dinner, and a month later they got Flo Millie to feature on the Bundles remix. In August of 2021, Nicole uploaded a very emotional video oh, where she visited her old house and looked back on how far she'd come. Well, you know, I, I still video. get judged because y'all see how I dress. I don't, I don't look like a millionaire or a rich ass, you know, person who does what I do. People try to make me feel so bad, and look, look what I came from. Here look what I've done for myself. A great video. However, later on in August, after this emotional upload, Kayla and the Taylor girls fell out again. Oh lord! And this time, there was no coming. It's interesting because when she said they made up, I was thinking in my head like, hmm, I wouldn't have been friends with them after that. After we blasting each other online, going, I don't, I don't like that. You ain't a real friend. Back. Bitch, I went so hard for you on your birthday. Now, for not one bitches that you consider your friends did a motherfucking thing for you, bought a bitch ass thing for you, and I turned up for you. 
The cause of this fallout wasn't super clear, but it seems that Ty started to feel like Kayla wasn't giving as much to the friendship as she was. So you been on IG Live? Kayla showed to talk up to late her? to Ty's birthday party and without a gift. And after this, she started to see Kayla as a hater. She even implied that Kayla just used her to get their song Bundles released. Ty then proceeded to go live with her sister and their friends, where they threw multiple shots at Kayla's finances and music career. Are you <laughs> okay? <laughs> Things reached a new low when they started talking about Kayla's insecurities. Kayla had always been vulnerable with her fans about body positivity and being confident in your self-image. It's a part of the reason she was so comfortable being on screen wearing bonnets and wig caps with no makeup. Needless to say, this jab at her self-esteem struck a nerve. She ended up leaking Daisha's pregnancy, they ended up leaking test messages from her mom, and the feud got really messy. The fact that this happened right after she showed her vulnerability to the internet and opened up about her humble beginnings was no doubt a jab to her confidence. After this, Nicole got her own reality show on Snapchat titled Mean Mom. But after her show, she would slowly start to post on YouTube less and less. It was clear that the fame was starting to take a toll on her, and before you knew it, she practically quit being a YouTuber completely. In February of 2022, Nicole sued her ex-producer Polo Don mm -hmm. for breach of contract and for her. seducing her when she was only 18. Mm -hmm. He allegedly spent the night with Nicole the day before signing her contract and illegally plied her with alcoholic beverages to convince her to sign the contract on the spot with no legal representation. She oh, Polo eventually lost interest in her career after their sexual relationship ended. When did it start? He also claimed that after their sexual relationship ended, his interest in her career stopped, and she was never paid the advance that she was promised by Zone 4. This could have been what the Taylor girls were referring to when they said no money was being made from bundles. She was also apparently giving him 15% of her YouTube ad revenue at the time. Oh. All Kayla wanted was relief from the court by releasing her from her contract and her attorney fees paid for. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any updates on this case. In April of 2022, Kayla was accused of cheating on her husband with a YouTuber named Bam Man Kevo. Mm. Kevo claimed that Kayla agreed to shoot videos with his wife Dime in return for sex and money. He said that they'd have conversations about how they could mutually work together to help each other's partners, but their relationship stopped after she got pregnant with her second baby. Kevo released a few text messages showing Kayla oh. supporting Dime and basically telling her to do her own thing, but he never released any messages or real proof confirming their affair or the alleged money he sent her. Nicole never responded to these allegations directly, but she did take it as an opportunity to promote her husband's clothing brand. Meanwhile, Kevo and his wife Dime did endless interviews with Say Cheese TV, and people Whoa. began to speculate that either him and Kayla planned this ordeal to gain clout, or that Kevo fabricated this story out of thin air for views. Most people went with the latter. However, there were still some people who believed that Kayla cheated on her husband, and they completely dragged her through the mud. While it's never been confirmed whether or not this was real or fake, no. it was definitely the last straw for Kayla. The remainder of 2022 consisted of a Grammys partnership with CBS and a few uploads from Nicole that would eventually become posts and deletes. She'd start to post on Instagram less and less, and she eventually went AWOL for over a year. Nicole had been used for content, publicly insulted by friends, financially taken advantage of, and sexually manipulated. Damn. All while putting smiles on everyone else's faces and money in everyone Aww. else's pockets. As of 2023, she started posting on TikTok and Instagram more frequently. She's still married to her husband, and in February, she released her single titled, I Hate It Here. It's a very vulnerable R&B track, and I personally really like it. It's currently streaming on Spotify, Apple Music, and SoundCloud. And if you all have the time, I'd really suggest listening to it. Yeah, Kayla Nicole her. could be preparing for a comeback, or maybe she'll be strictly focusing on her music career. But regardless of the path she chooses, it's good to see her posting again. Nicole's journey has been far from perfect, but it's clear that she's not giving up. Hopefully this video is giving you some insight on her legacy. And it that's a wrap on did. Kayla Nicole Jones. Goodbye. Wow. She did a great job putting this video together. I didn't know any of this. I mean, I did know that she was like collaborating with uh, Deshay. I remember seeing a couple of those videos. I might have even reacted to some of their content together. 
Um, but yeah, all the beef that she had uh, with the Taylor girls and uh, Bando Cab, the nigga with the BBL, him like trying to expose her. I don't know about any of that. Like that is wild. But I'm glad that she's you know doing well and she's focusing on her music and her family and she's you know married with two kids and, and all of that. It seems like she is in a better place. She's able to like post on Instagram and TikTok as she said. So. Her putting out content again is a good indication that she's in a good headspace. So I, I wish the best for her. I loved Kayla. I thought she was hilarious. And I think it's fucked up that people were trying to exploit her and use her. Um, and oh, speaking of the whole friend situation, when you are an influencer, you have any type of clout to any degree. Having relationships is very difficult and I've been in denial of this for the longest. I didn't want to accept it because it's just such a weird and uncomfortable position that people put you in. But people start to become envious of you, like friends that you have had forever. Like once they see, you know, how you're living and they witness your success, they can start to become envious. And I've fallen out with quite a few friends over them being weird just out the blue i have uh, <laughs> a story time on my only fans right now talking about one of the friends that i fell out with but i will be uh dropping some more videos talking about some other friends uh giving you know great detail about what occurred because i've had a lot of weird ass situations happen and it's just gotten to a point where i'm like okay i just have to accept this is happening to me because Bitches is jealous <laughs> and I've never wanted to be that girl because I've always hated those girls that I'm like uh -huh, Everybody's jealous of me and it's just like bitch anybody worry about you bye So I would just be in denial, but it, it just got to a point where it's like, okay I can't ignore this anymore <laughs> Like bitch you acting weird because you want some weird jealous shit because I've been nothing but a good friend to you You know, so I don't know if that is what occurred with with Kayla and her friends with the first girl It definitely appeared to be that way the one that she fought with the red hair um, because she was trying to use Kayla to ask her for money and all type of shit. So it's clear that she was trying to use Kayla and was jealous of her. But uh yeah, I can't speak on her other relationships, but yeah, that is a thing. And it's it's really unfortunate, especially when it's just like I'm just me, I'm just regular. <laughs> Why are you making this weird? Why are you being weird? I don't ever flex my money or like talk about oh I got this and that or none of that. But people, you know, they come to my apartment, they see, you know, where I live. I live in a high-rise apartment i have a porsche and you know people are just like okay well she's making money and then bitches start acting weird okay it is a thing it's very unfortunate anyway uh i enjoy watching this though i fuck with kayla y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and i'll see y'all the next time Bye.